welcome to another video. So before I say anything else, guys, please do like this video and subscribe down below to become part of the Royal Fam. And today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely bookmarks. And these are actually for a school project that I had to do last night. And we had to make something and like pretend to sell it. So I decided to make these bookmarks with just little beads. Here's how they look in a book. That to show you guys is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, not sponsored by the way. And as you can see, here is how the bookmark looks in the book right there. And the little bead helps it stay in place, so even when you hold the book up, it does not fall out. So that's the good thing on these bookmarks. About these bookmarks. That I'll use for this, these crafts are this paper. So I have a piece of paper right here. Then I have a different color sharpie. This one is a dark blue sharpie. I got this light, like kind of like a lighter starkish purple sharpie. I use this like orange red sharpie. Then I use this pink sharpie, it's like a lighter pink. And then I use this light blue sharpie. I also use like a folder, something basically with a straight line to like help the line stay straight for the edges of it. And some scissors cut it out as well as a bead and like some wire to put the bead onto the um, bookmark. Here's all the ingredients that I'm using. So basically, well, all I'm using is this piece of paper. This is like a harder paper. Then I have this like, I guess like a thinner paper. Over here, I got some scissors, pink. Then I also got this little like wire that I use to put the bead onto the bookmark. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's how it looks. Here is the pack that it came in. And I believe we got this from either I don't know it was mama or another craft store then i'm going to use this bead for the bookmark here's the container that the bead went in i remember we got this one from walmart then i got a hole puncher for what we put the beads in and i have all my markers over here you already saw my markers but the ones that i'm going to be using for this bookmark are the like purple marker and this light blue marker once you start you're going to take like the harder construction paper and you're going to use something to guide you so you can like make straight lines so I'm going to use a side that I know is straight and as you can see I'm just going to draw with my pencil a straight line as straight as you can all the way down so that's how it looks. Then I'm going to draw a line across again it does not have to be perfect like that and that's about the size of my other bookmarks. Then what I'm going to do is take my scissors. and cut it out. Again, this does not have to be perfect, but try to make it aligned as straight as you can. All right. So as you can see right here is my bookmark. So, like I told you before, the colors that I'm going to be using for this is the dark purple pencil and the light blue pencil. What I'm going to do now is because my blue color is going to be the main color for this bookmark. I'm just going to start coloring it with the Sharpie. Try to make at least, at least the like not a lot of little spots try to color it as like full as you can if you want to though you can also go back and color it again the um, bookmark if you don't like the white spots if you have left any So yeah, that's basically what I am doing right now. As you can see, I am finished with coloring out my bookmark, like the main color of my bookmark. And as you can see, here's what the second paper does. It's basically like your thing under it. So that way, like stuff like your marker won't get on the table, especially because this is the white table. So now I'm basically gonna draw with my purple sharpie As you can see what I'm gonna do now is draw little stars on the bookmark so I'm just gonna draw them in random places first time I'm gonna draw a star so how you do it is you do one line up going like that way then you do one line down going this way 
then you go up, going that way, then you go straight towards the right, then you go down to the left, and that's basically how you draw a star. Then you're gonna just color that in. That's easier than drawing it for me because I'm not very good at drawing stars like without doing it like that but yeah that is how you draw a star I'm finished with adding the stars to my bookmark comment down below what you think of it and now what I'm gonna do is use my hole puncher I'm gonna use this bead and I'm also gonna use this like cord to put the bead to connect the bead to the bookmark to do here is you're gonna just like poke a hole in one of the sides I find it way easier for me to put the hole in the left side but I am right-handed so based on my experiment experience with this I would say that it's easier putting the hole in on the side that's like the opposite from the hand that is most controllable to you. Like if you're left-handed, put on the right side. If you're right-handed, put on the left side. So that is what I did just then. This guys, you're gonna take your wire, so or your cord. Here is mine right here. You can see that a little bit, and you're just gonna put it inside, and you want it to be where there is a part sticking out of the front. So I don't know if you can see, but part is sticking out of the front and part is sticking out of the bottom. So now what you're going to do, so the bead doesn't go to the back, is you're going to put the bead, or put the cord through the bead on the front side. Okay? And now you are going to have the side on the back of the hole, through the back of the hole. And you're going to put it like on the side. So I don't know if you can see that. But I'm putting it on the side. And you're just going to tie a knot. So this is a bit hard to show. I am. Tying a knot. And basically what you're going to do. Is just do that four times. So I'll see you guys when I am done. Now I have cut the cord in four knots total, so three after the one that I showed you guys. So now is the cord is super long, you have to make sure that it's long enough because if it's too short, then what will happen is that it's going to be very difficult for you to tie your bead to your um, bookmark. So basically, as you can see, the cord is very long, so I'm going to cut it short, but not too short where it will come loose, about right there so as you can see now the cord is short probably about that that long so yeah you guys this is how the bookmark looks in a book this is diary of the wimpy kid again not sponsored and if you like put the book up it does not fall out and it is very easy to find the bookmark in your book so yeah you can see here are all my bookmarks here. I have a whole lot. And this was just a super fun craft. Here's a new one that I made right here. I really, really hope you that that you will enjoy making these bookmarks just as much as I did. And again, if you did like this video, please do subscribe down below and like this video. Also, please do comment hashtag the world fam to get a shout out in my next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.